welcome. This is my can talk. I did the book White Teeth. Oh, let's see. White Teeth by Zadie Smith, and I focused mainly on the theme of identity throughout the whole novel and how Zadie points out three main things that make up identity: religion, tradition, and ethnicity. But first, I'll just give a brief summary of the novel. Ooh. So it starts off with the character, character Archibald Jones. Archibald Jones tries to commit suicide and it doesn't work, which is good for him because he becomes reinvigorated with his idea for life and for self-discovery. After that, he meets this girl named Clara who has just escaped from her mother who is a Jehovah's Witness and her whole life she was raised with um, this ideology that she was constrained to and she just felt kind of attacked the whole time. So she marries Archie because she wants to escape her mom. His best friend is Samad Iqbal and he also is married but they have an arranged marriage because he comes from Bangladesh and they have a very like strict Islamic religion. Now they both have children at the same time like both of these sets of friends and it uh, the book follows two generations, so the first generation is Archie and Samad, and then the second one is their children. Samad and um, as Alsana's uh, children are Majid and Millet, and um, Archie and Clara's daughter is Eerie. Archie is kind of the blank backdrop for the rest of the characters because he is Caucasian and he comes from England, just straight native British. <laughs> While the rest of the characters have all these interlacing different identities. So for example, Samad is from Bangladesh, as I've stated. He's Islamic. Um, Clara's uh, immigrated from Jamaica. So there's all these different like backdrops on that. Oh, and then to complete the summary, basically, um, I'll give some more analysis later, but um, Samad really wants his children to become just like him and to be strong practitioners of the faith. And when they don't, he sends one of them without telling his wife to Bangladesh to practice religion for eight years. And when his son comes back, he is an atheist, so that did not work out as well as he planned. Um, and then his other son turns out to be like the most extreme fundamentalist version of Islam and he joins this like kind of terrorist group called Kevin. <laughs> so, <laughs> Kevin, ha! <laughs> um, so, the first identity is, I'll focus on is tradition. Uh, oh, okay, so tradition. <laughs> Um, tradition, uh, the first generation fears the consequences of not assimilating into this white culture where a majority of um, people are Christian, white, um, really not accepting who they are, except for Archie, of course. But Archie does view um, some of racism through proxy of Clara because sometimes people will be rude to Clara, like they will say, don't bring her to... A business event because she is black so and by the way this is in like the 70s 80s so just to give you a time span of that um, so in tradition there's also the multiple person perspective which gives the multiple cultural identity um, analysis of that as well so each chapter is a different person um, and then for ethnicity, as I've already explained, um, there's the Jamaican, the Bangladesh, uh, the English, and then the second generation, of course, is like the dual citizen aspect of it. And the struggle to um, demonstrate the effects of globalization in England. So uh, Archie and um, Clara's daughter, Erie, off, she feels like she doesn't fit in. Like she walks and talks like a uh, British teenager. She says, she says all the same slang and jargon. She smokes weed with her friends on the weekends. Um, but she tries to dye and straighten her hair to make herself look more white. And it just like makes her really sad and unhappy with herself. And then religion, 
is the last one. And religion, I mostly focused on the Jehovah's Witness aspect and the Islamic aspect because it's the struggle to provide a pure religious identity in, in the Western world, which often calls into question the validity of their own religion. So even though Samad focuses on trying to impose his religion on his wife through beating her and then she beats him back, so he fails in that aspect, but he also fails in the aspect of passing on his religion to his children because, again, they decide not to um, conform to the Islamic religion. And he himself fails at the religion when he cheats on his wife with uh, his son's music teacher. So he kind of like guilt trips himself and he's like, well, if I can't be the perfect Muslim, maybe my children can. And then they don't even end up being, so it's kind of a failed attempt. Um, and another important aspect is that um, I was doing some research and when um, the, sorry, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. An individual often rejects the um, ideology of their parents when it's um, pushed onto them because it reflects a shared identity instead of an individual identity. And so th there's, when the objection of religion becomes more of an idea of perfection instead of like this family unity, it the whole family structure dissolves in itself. And that's what you can see happens throughout um, the book. Another important part of white teeth is obviously teeth. So the reason that it's called white teeth is because Sadie Smith focuses on um, how every human has a set of teeth. But if you've ever seen a crime show or any sort of like critical analysis um, in the newspaper, you might have heard that people are often identify bodies through teeth records. And that's because um, everyone has a unique set of teeth. So although teeth represent the idea of humanity and that we're all the same, but we also have our own unique bits that will identify us. And throughout the book, there's uh, different t chapter titles that reflect different types of teeth. So there's molars, and molars are used for digestion. So in the chapter about molars, um, one of the children learns the history of their parents, so they have to digest this information about their past. Um, canines, canines are the incision teeth. It's the teeth that you take to get your first bite of something. So canines is actually um, in reference to when uh, some of the children go over to this white family and the parents are afraid, oh, what if this white family like tries to influence our children because they've already started to. Uh, and then roots, of course, is the most important overlying theme because roots, when people, I've, you've probably heard this phrase before, like going back to your roots, going back to your history, reviewing the past. And the root canal, obviously, is when you go through and you try to get to the main source of the root. However, um, when uh, some of the characters try to go back and examine their roots, it's a failed procedure and um, it has negative consequences on them. Um, 